हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम रिशाली धनोकार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट अलगुरिदम देर एनालिसिस एंड ऑल्सो डिफरेंट सर्चिंग एंड सॉर्टिंग टेक्निक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट लिंक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लिंक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो लेट सी वॉट इज मीन बाय लिंक लिस्ट नेक्स्ट फॉलोइंग पॉइंट आर कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो विच इंक्लूड्स वॉट इज लिंक लिस्ट some basic terminologies in linked list array versus linked list their types their edit advantages disadvantages applications and some important questions which frequently asked in spbo exam pattern so let's see one by one first what is mean by linked list next so a uh, linked list is linear data structure okay is one of the part of data structure linked list contains a group of elements which is called as nodes see here this is the collection of nodes and this structure is called as linked list so each node contain two parts first part is called data and next part is called next okay so data means actual element is stored in data part you can store the information see here let's a b c d this is called as data part and next part includes address of next node so this next part stored address of this node here this node b contain address of next node that is c okay in this way each and every nodes connected with each other so this is called as link list okay now next one is head head means pointer always points the first node in linked list the first node in linked list which is called as head part and the last node in the linked list which is called as null part clear so this is the structure of linked list clear next now again there are some basic terminologies in linked list linked list includes node address pointer head null pointer this kind of words so what is mean by exactly node every element in linked list which is called as node node include two parts i already explain data part and next part data part means actual value or element stored in node and next part is a second part which contain address of next node see here there are total 1 2 3 and 4 four nodes in linked list the first node contain data 15 and stored the address of next node address of next node is 36000 okay so this address stored here in this way each and every node link with each other the next one is address address simply means memory address of each and every next node address is useful for traversing purpose means from this node you need to go from this address that is 36000 then this node is connected to this node okay if you mention here the next address node okay this is called link connection next one is pointer pointer always points the first node in linked list this all arrow okay this is called as pointers in linked list then head head means first node in linked list which stored the address of first node head part again stored the information about complete linked list that is total number of nodes present in linked list and also pointer to the current node in the list and the last one is null pointer null pointer shows last node in the linked list it indicate there is no next node so that this is the last node clear so these are the some basic terminologies used in linked list next now what is mean by array i already explained in my last video okay now here there is difference between array and linked list why we use linked list if there is array is present for storing information so first difference is array has fixed size resizing is expensive but linked list has dynamic size you have to store as many as nodes or data in linked list in array insertion and deletion are inefficient elements are usually shifted 
but in linked list insertion and deletion are efficient no shifting is done right in array random access element is possible this is the structure of array and this is the structure of linked list and if you want to access the data in first index okay then you need to directly access five information right but in element uh, linked list you didn't access or randomly access any element you need to first travel sync if you want to access this information 37 then you need to start from 12 then 99 and then 37 clear so no random access in linked list random access is present in array by using indexing clear in array no memory waste if array is full okay but if array is not full then there is much memory waste but in linked list this is dynamically memory you can increase or delete as per your time or as per your requirement there is no waste of memory in array sequential access is faster because elements are all stored in contiguous memory location each and every elements according the index wise or sequentially are stored so sequential access is faster but in linked list sequential access is slow because elements are not stored in contiguous memory location we can store elements runtime in linked list so these are the main difference between array and linked list next now there are types of linked list here i will give you just introduction of types of linked list in my next video i will explain in detail each and every types of linked list there are total three types simple linked list doubly linked list and circular linked list which is also called as singly linked list okay so first type is simple linked list in simple linked list item navigates forward only means this node is connected to this node this node is connected to this node in forward purpose only so this is called as simple or single linked list clear next type is doubly linked list doubly linked list means items can navigate forward and backward purpose so first node that is called as header node so this connected to the next node that is 26 so here there are two address node one is previous and another is next this next part is connected to the next node they store the address of next node and previous part stored the address of previous node means it goes to forward as well as backward which is called as doubly linked list the next one is circular linked list in circular linked list last item contains the link of first element and the first element in the linked list is connected to the previous element so this is called as circular linked list clear so these are the types of linked list in my next video i will explain in detail with programming next now linked list by edity means there are some primitive operations which is followed by linked list so following are basic operations supported by linked list that is insertion means adds an element in the beginning of list deletion means deletes the element in the list display display means display the complete list search search an element using the particular given key and delete deletes an element using the given key clear so these are the operation which is performed on the linked list i will explain in my next video as per their types clear next of advantages of linked list so linked list has their own advantages linked list is dynamic data structure it's grow and shrink while the program is running insertion and deletion operation can be easily implemented linked list has no fixed size as like array we can implement stack and queue using linked list there is no need to define initial size of linked list and items can be added or removed from the middle of the list in array this is not possible backtracking is possible in doubly linked list also because it use forward as well as backward propagation clear so these are the advantages of linked list as per your requirement you used linked list in your programming clear next now disadvantages of linked list so disadvantages of linked list is depends on types of linked list each and every types of linked list has their own advantages and own disadvantages but overall 
the disadvantages of linked list is pointer need extra memory for storage means each nodes is connected by using pointer with next node right so pointer needs extra memory for storages no random access traversing is done you don't access directly the particular node in the linked list traversing is possible nodes are not stored in contiguous memory location if you want to access the individual node in linked list required big o n time but in array it required big o one time so these are the disadvantages and last one is reverse traversing is difficult in linked list singly linked list it is not possible but in doubly linked list backtracking is possible but while backtracking is required extra storage and space so these are the disadvantages of linked list like wastage of memory no random access time consuming space restriction and reverse traversing is difficult clear next now here some applications of linked list or real life applications examples are depend on types of linked list linked list can be used to implement a queue for example a line of cashier in bank in uh, airport etc these are the example of linked list the next one is linked list can also be used to implement a stack the example is would be one of those plate dispenser at buffet restaurant where pull the top plate of the top of the stack right again linked list is used in a linked list of files name means in particular folder you have to store again different folders one by one right the cache in your browser that allow you hit back the button you uh, when the particular url is given in browser and uh, when you click the enter button it reload the particular page on the internet right this is again example of linked list undo function in photoshop or in word file or in a pointer or a presentation file the undo operation is also example of linked list next one is hash table binary tree we will implement this trees by using the linked list so this overall application of linked list next Uh, these are the some important questions which frequently asked in SPPO exam pattern, like comparison, what is linked list, uh, explain with suitable example linked list addition operation, and also concept of uh, link organization in detail according the marks. Next, hope so you understood each and every concept regarding linked list. In my next video, we will learn about types of linked list. Keep practicing. Thank you.